Hey everybody, it's Jeff again with Dad's RGB. Welcome back for more Minecraft. Um, let's see here. So, I think really what we're going to be concentrating on today is... I think really we're just going to be doing some mining. I want to get some uh, some more iron and some diamond at least. Hopefully. <laughs> at least iron, hopefully some diamond. And um, then, who knows, depending on time, maybe we can... You know, I want to make myself some armor... And then maybe we can get into maybe looking for a better place for a permanent base. And maybe even get started on that depending on how time goes. Um, so I am going to head on down into the mine. And at that point here, I uh, probably just kind of try to speed this up a little bit here for you. So you're not just here watching me dig <laughs> forever. So uh, if I run across anything interesting, I'll be back. Otherwise, I'll see you when I run a Well, I guess I'll see you when I run across something interesting. All right, we are at level 10. It looks like, remember, on the uh, coordinates, if, you had, uh, if you're on the PC, if you hit F3, it'll show you all this information here. Um, but uh, on that left-hand side there, the very top line under that second chunk of information, X, Y, Z, that's your coordinates. Uh, the middle one is your elevation. Uh, so, again, I believe it was between 5 and 10, or 5 and 12, I think, was like the the optimal zone the you know like the best chances of finding diamonds so i'm down to 10 right now so i think i'm gonna go ahead and start doing the strip mining um so here's to more uh here's some more time path time lapse and i'll be back
Okay, so, so far I have done, gone through seven pickaxes, I think. Uh, just stone pickaxes, nothing major. Um, <laughs> gotten 13 iron. Um, did run across quite a bit of redstone and some lapis here uh, towards the end. I did mainly lapis, but I did get some redstone. Um, apparently when you start running across those, that's kind of why I was, I normally wouldn't have just switched over to my iron pickaxe. But hitting those areas, I wanted to kind of clean them out and uh, everything there just to make sure. Because usually when you start running across those, especially when they're close together, is another sign possibly that you're in the area of redstone. Uh, when you start running across, uh, or excuse me, not redstone, but diamond. Especially redstone when you're running across that. Um, but if uh, you couldn't really tell in my time lapse here... I just wanted to really kind of quickly show you what I do when it comes to strip mining. Um, usually do a, you know, just a corridor um, about every 10 blocks. It's over the beginning there, of course. But about every 10 spaces, I'll go ahead and cut over um, to another one. And I just leave these as two in between because obviously that way nothing can hide from you. Right to whatever side you're on. You're seeing everything. It's not like there's another like hidden column in the middle there or anything that you're not sure of that you might have missed. Um, so I do that, and really, I just kind of keep going with that, that strip mining. So I'll expand out that way, expand out that way, you know, just kind of like depending on if I run across any other caverns or anything like that. Um, but right now, I am going to go dump off this stuff. And I need to make some more pickaxes, so I thought I'd just go ahead and take the time or take advantage of this time to check with y'all. See how you're doing? How's your day? You doing good? All right, good to know. Good to know. It's not like thunderstorms and stuff like that going on there too, so I can go ahead and take this advantage or advantage of this time to go ahead and rest, stow some of my stuff. Hopefully that creeper's not going to be too close for me to... Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Oh good, that creeper's far enough away. Whoa. So apparently he was right there. Luckily it didn't actually do any damage to me. Holy smokes. It's a creep show. Come on guys. Nice. All right, so I guess we're going to do a little repair here. Yeah, we'll call it good. Get some more of that stuff cooking. Got a lot of just regular cobblestone.
Nope, I want you. Okay, so I'm going to want you. Lapis, you can stay here. Torches, I need on me. Good on coal for now. I do need some of you, so I'm going to need to make more sticks, so I can make more pickaxes. And then stone for the pickaxes. All right, so I'm going to dig for just a little bit more. Um, I see my last piece of food. So I'm going to dig a little bit more here. Um, then we'll go ahead and break away from this if I don't find anything, you know, any diamond or anything. I'll go ahead and break away from this for a bit, and we'll go ahead and do a little scouting, a little hunting, and, uh, yeah, scouting around. Hopefully we can find a village or, uh, you know, something like that, and then maybe find the, the spot for our next home or our permanent home. Yeah. <laughs>
I don't really know why. I just <laughs> I don't like having just like gaping holes in it either. Especially like I guess maybe it's because of all the kind of the tidy rows I have. I'm not really OCD, I promise. <laughs> but I just kind of like it to look nuts. I'm gonna keep that open there since that's where we found the diamond, though. Um, there is possibly. Not likely, but there's a possibility there's some more right around that area. So I'm just going to keep that open as a a possible other way to go or something. So that's why I didn't need to fill that back in. But anyways, let me finish this cup back here. That was for me anyways. That's a, that was a pretty good, or a pretty large find. Usually... In the past, when I play this, uh, if I find diamonds, it's you know, six, maybe, if that. Usually, like, four, <laughs> sometimes one, you know. <laughs> but ten of them right off the bat, especially, like, for the first find, too. That's amazing. I mean, that's already a, a diamond chest. Ooh, should I do a diamond pickaxe first? Well, so diamond pickaxe is really the main reason I would want that or need that is for obsidian. The only real reason I would need obsidian right now. Oh, creeper. See him all the way down there at the end. But the only reason I would need that right now would be if I was going to be making a portal to the nether, which don't really have any plans doing that right away here definitely want to wait until at least we get our other base built and absolutely more diamond for full diamond armor and all that how's it going bye bye let's see 10 of them i think it's eight to make a chest so diamond pickaxe would need three so I'm probably going to hold off on that because I don't need it right away. I might go ahead and do a diamond sword. Heck, dudes. Fighting the water is definitely the way to go. <laughs> Take that and that. And again, repair. A freaking hole in the ground. Come on, buddy. Man. Oh, you're little creepy dudes. I don't like these guys. Go away. Ah! If you kill me right now, I swear. Okay. You are a tough dude. Hmm, do a little bit of 
right there. Come here. Oh, is this the invisible trader? Yeah, it is. It's weird. <laughs> There's nobody there. Where you at? Hey. Quit moving. Fine, whatever. I forgot to close the door. Oh, it sounds like he's getting tagged. Okay, so he does... Oh, you can buy stuff for emeralds. Nothing that I want, though. I said good day. Alright, so thanks for that. Now... Let's go. One of them, that's, yeah, eight. So I'll go ahead and do that and. Give me a stick. Wait out. Get you going, and actually, I'm going to make What I'm doing is I think I'm going to go ahead and make my, oops. I want to go ahead and make my um, next place out of just regular rock, regular stone. And in order to do that... I'm going to need to, excuse me, sorry. In order to do that, I'm going to need to cook the stone again like that and it turns it back into that stuff, which looks pretty cool, I think. It looks better than just like the regular cobblestone to me. Um, or at least if nothing else, give a little texture adjustment. So I might be able to still use regular cobblestone for like the floors or ceilings or both, but then have the regular walls be the smoother, which just a look I like. Uh, let's see, so, and as you can see, I have no shortage of cobblestone whatsoever, so that will probably work out in my favor. that in there. Now I am getting ready to go for a bit of a hike. So I'm actually going to keep the diamond one here for now. Let me take my iron pickaxe here too, just in case something happens to me. Oh, I do have a lot of more coal in there. I can go ahead and get another... All right, let's go see what there is to see. First of all, I'm going to make a note. So I'm currently minus 314. And plus 124.5. We're just going to go up 
I'll just go ahead and go on top of here first and see if there is anything we can just see from here. Oh, I just saw kind of a... Wow. So literally across the river. That's a really nice looking open field there to be building on. That's kind of cool. I might not need to go too far then. We can actually just get into the building for now. Don't really see anything that looks like a sign of a... A village. On the right side, that also means I'm not really seeing much in regards to a pillager for it either. So if one of those is not around us, I am perfectly okay with that too. Check over this way. Mm -hmm. There's kind of a nice open little area over there too. It seems like over that way, maybe kind of where I started. Or at least maybe just like over that way or something. So it could just be I just uh, chose the wrong direction to kind of head out to initially. Oh, there was a fox. I saw its tail. So let's see here. This is... Yeah, I suppose we can just wander over there. Splish, splash. See, I want to find the right place that has good resources and everything I wouldn't mind I guess it's not like a high priority I wouldn't mind having easy access to the ocean either but Ortiz donkey piggies nice Yeah, this might actually work out really well. I can kind of see plenty of access to wood if needed. My mine's not too far away, and I can build a path and clean it up and build a bridge just like that. Ample water. It's like a mushroom area starting over there. Sheepies. But yeah, plenty of food. Plenty of, I'll be able to build up a, a couple of pens to catch me some piggies and some cowsies and <laughs> horses and sheep and all that stuff here if I want to. So really just kind of filling in these holes. I don't need to terraform it a little bit. I need to flatten it all out and stuff so I'll be able to smooth it. So yeah, that didn't take long at all, did it? That's pretty cool. Um, so I think, uh, actually before, I get too far. <laughs> Need to, okay, kinda, there we go. Grab a few of these. Hopefully I didn't just totally decimate the piggy. 
population. Might have. <laughs> Okay, so I think that's what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and build our main base here. So I'm going to head back home real quick and start getting some stuff together. Um, we'll see how I decide to do the next episode. Um, either way, I'll, I'll show building the place. I'm just trying to figure if I might actually build it off camera. Hmm. Maybe I'll go and record it and just time lapse it. You know, at least for the main base, and then, you know, maybe we can go from there or something, too. But I guess for now, let me make sure I can get back home here. <laughs> There's home. Good time until it's starting to get dark. That's what it is. He's taking he's taking potions, turning himself invisible, which is weird. I guess I had seen that before, maybe, but I thought it was a glitch, honestly. But maybe they just carry those potions, sir. When there's monsters around, they just turn invisible. So, but yeah, I'm just gonna finish cooking here, um, eat some food. Um, then yeah, I think I'm gonna probably go ahead and just get a lot of the materials ready which like i said i'm just really kind of baking stone <laughs> that's really what i'm doing so i'm gonna go ahead and get that ready um then we'll kind of i'll go ahead and do a time lapse capture of the actual building of the place stuff like that here so you guys don't actually miss out on that if you want any ideas um definitely if you do have any suggestions um you know i kind of just go with it um and kind of see how i'm feeling that day as to what it's gonna look like uh but if you have any suggestions anything you'd like to see me try to build or anything like that um I guess I'm planning on having, you know, of course, the main structure, the main house slash castle area. Um, I'm going to eventually have a garden. Um, pens for at least cows. Might get a couple horses or something like that, too. Um, possibly pigs. Sheep. Maybe. I suppose I could. And then I could start doing, like, carpeting and stuff, maybe, or something like that. Um, but yeah, so I plan on having some pen areas, everything actually turned into pretty much a farm, um, just with a kind of a castle looking thing in the middle or something. But if you have any suggestions, anything you want me to try to build, any materials you want me to try, anything like that, absolutely leave them in the comments. Um, definitely while you're down there, hit that like button, hit suggestion, and until next time everybody, keep on gaming.